The AGVs are here to help us deliver uh, products, supplies, trash carts, and linen carts from each building at a much quicker pace. The abbreviation is AGV, but the AGVs really stand for Automated Guided Vehicles. The AGVs get to about 26 deliveries per day for each vehicle. It's important to have AGVs here because of the distance that the product has to travel. It's the most efficient way to get uh, people the product that they need. The AGV navigation system allows for the vehicles to travel through this extensive tunnel system here at Rush. The AGVs have an eye spinning on top of the uh, vehicle and it reads reflectors upon the walls. So along the path, there are reflectors on each side of the walls. And as a matter of fact, here's a reflector here and there's a reflector there. As the vehicle goes along the path, uh, the eye reads the reflectors and that lets the vehicle know where it's at. The AGV collision avoidance system is designed to stop abruptly when the HV senses an object. There's a front sensor and there's a rear sensor. It causes a bumper trip. When that occurs, the uh, AGV stops and the AGV will continue going to, to its location or its destination. The AGVs serve uh, patients indirectly, so the patients will never see what happens behind the scenes. Also, it provides for efficient delivery of products and services to the patient. This system is a 24-hour day system, seven days a week. The AGV will take power naps, so the vehicle knows when the charge gets low to when it gets to about 50% to go choose or select a, a docking station, a charging station, so it can dock and recharge itself. Currently, we have like 12 charging stations. There is something called a lift gate on the back of the AGVs, and that lift gate has a capacity of 1,000 pounds. It's about 11 of me. If they go down, we're prepared to get them right back in service and running again. In the command center, I'm looking at the monitors and I'm looking for certain uh, errors. So if I, if I see any error, if I notice any error on the command center screen, then I'll go out to that unit or that vehicle or the, the charger or the elevator, try to figure out what's going on with that vehicle. 